what does Noam Chomsky and Stanley Kubrick have to do with Warhammer 40K? Well, I guess you're going to have to find out right after this quick intro. All right, for me to tell this story properly, we're going to have to go back in time. So let's do it. Come on, go back one decade, two decades. Oh, let's go three decades to 1990, specifically November 1990, where the number one hit song in America was from this guy. Let's not even talk about that. And the Cold War was officially declared over, and UN just authorized us to go to war next year with this guy for the first time. But what was happening with Games Workshop, though, in November of 1990? Well, they are about to release their first Warmer 40K novel, titled Inquisitor. Now, what makes this novel so crazy, besides all the details inside of it, is the author. He was a really strange cat by the name of Ian Watson. This guy's first novel was called The Embedding, and basically it's a sci-fi story based all around Noam Chomsky's linguistic theory. Um, to put this in perspective, Noam Chomsky, which we know today, is pretty much a leftist, crazy, liberal political figure. In this time, Norm was really known for basically his linguistic theory, and hopefully when he passes away, this is what he'll primarily be known about. But Ian took this and went all the way using very cutting-edge theories at the time, basically parsing within parsing, phrasing within phrasing. Um, also, basically the idea that genetics and um, grammar go together. So it's just an odd choice for Games Workshop. Now, my only theory I can come up with for this is that Ian was maybe wanting to delve into more of a pulp type of sci-fi at the time, and he wanted to uh, you know, gather a larger audience. So maybe that's what he was trying to do with this, these first novels, especially the Inquisitor one, which is really, really out there with things like a schizophrenic emperor that likes to talk in third person. Um, we have uh, squats, we have gene stealer cults, we have basically Illuminati. We have these crazy Ordo Inquisitor factions that are all fighting amongst each other. It's just an odd choice, but I guess in retrospect, they really wanted someone that was really fringe, really kind of out there in their thinking to bring the warmer 40K universe to the masses. Um, and if you do read the novel, um, which I do recommend you do just for the novelty of it, um, there is a kind of air of simplicity to it. There's a lot of things that uh, literarily you'd be like wow this is kind of crude and archaic and um, Ian's trying to balance this thing of having kind of a high mind of literary skill combined with kind of you know appealing to the 12 year old boy and all of us so uh, like I said it's a very interesting choice but he is a pioneer because he is the first finally Ian Watson is responsible for one of the greatest what ifs in the history of Warmer 40k and Games Workshop and that's the possibility of Stanley Kubrick of all people would have directed a Warmer 40k movie now, to put things all together, Ian was actually a really good friend of Stanley Kubrick. And in fact, he wrote the script for AI, which Steven Spielberg would later direct because Stanley died of a heart attack. Also, Ian requested from Games Workshop all lore, all history of the War of 40K universe to give to Stanley, because Stanley was gonna go research to see if there was a movie somewhere that he could pull out of all the great fluff that we had even at that time. So, it's just mind-blowing to think that this was even a possibility for us to have a Stanley Kubrick Warmer 40K movie. This is, we're talking about one of the top 10 greatest filmmakers of all time making a movie for Warmer 40K. If only that happened, because that means we would never have gotten the Ultramarines movie. Well, if you want to know more about Ian Watson, he's still making books, even though he's getting up there in age. And currently he's on this kind of crazy erotic kick. So if you're into crazy erotic sci-fi stories, um, then he's your man. You can go look him up. I'll have links in the description below to go check out any of other books that you might be interested in them and interested in that you might have. But please like and subscribe to this video and I'll see you guys next week.